Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So welcome to your readings for February 2019. I want to wish all of my Aquarians out there a very happy birthday. We are officially in Aquarius season as far as Western astrology is concerned. Uh, I also want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day, maybe, if you're doing anything, if you're celebrating. I hope you have a great one. And if you're not such a fan, then forget I even said that, right? Right? <laughs> so these are general readings, okay? Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and send me an email, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All of the readings that I offer are listed in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out and read through those. See if you, whichever one you would like and then shoot me an email. If you can't decide, then still email me and we can discuss the situation a little bit and I will help you pick out the best reading to move forward with, yeah? We are using the Golden Universal Tarot for the readings with the Oracle of the uh, Unicorns, hee hee hee, for a little bit of Oracle guidance, yeah? Um, uh, just one thing that I want to mention about the readings. I recommend that people watch the uh, the, the Leo reading and the Capricorn reading. Leo, because we just had that super blood moon eclipse on the 20th of sep uh, September, no, January, excuse me. I don't know why I said September, but um, the 20th of January. And depending on like, say if Leo was a, is, is a big thing in your chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus or whatever, or depending on what house Leo is in for you, you could get some good insight as to what may have happened uh, around or what may be shifting around that full moon that we had, the super blood moon eclipse. The Capricorn video, I also recommend that people watch, uh, re regardless if you have Capricorn in a major placement, as a major placement like Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You, with that one, you may also want to look into where Capricorn may be, what house it may be in in your chart. For some reason, there was just a lot of major collective energy that was coming through, at least in the very beginning of that reading. So I recommend that maybe if you're interested, if, there, if that's piqued your interest, if you resonate with that a little bit, to go ahead and watch that reading, yeah? If you are in the New York City metro area, come through and see me every Friday at Om Shanti Bookshop. I am there doing in-person readings from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The link to their website is in the description box below. Go ahead and check their, uh, check their website out. You can give them a call and schedule a reading in advance with me or any of the other fantastic readers there. We have astrologers, palm readers, tarot and oracle card readers like myself, and we're all really good at what we do. <laughs> yeah. They also have a really excellent crystal selection, a card selection between tarot and oracle cards. They do have a nice book selection, uh, essential oils, incense, sage, palo santo, anything that you might want. I'm pretty sure Om Shanti has it. Yes. And they do ship locally or oh, well, remotely. They do ship their, their, um, uh, uh, they can ship things. <laughs> Go ahead and give them a call. If you like, you can make it a, an order over the phone or you can do it online. Yes. And finally, I am on Instagram and um, Facebook. You can go ahead and follow me there. The links are in the description box below. Okay. So I think that's it. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get to it, guys. Hello there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for February 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of February 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cancer. So <laughs> the first thing I want to say is Happy Valentine's Day. Um, I don't know if any of you have some big plans for Valentine's Day, or maybe maybe you're one of those that's kind of like dreading Valentine's Day because you don't necessarily have a Valentine or anything. If that's the case, girl or boy, be your own Valentine, all right? Like... Take yourself out, take yourself to the movies, take yourself out to dinner, buy yourself some flowers, some chocolates, whatever. Be your own Valentine, yeah? For others of you, 
who do have plans for Valentine's Day. I hope you have a great time. Um, but I'm seeing green energy for you guys starting off. So this is the heart chakra. Um, so for some of you, I feel like this is like your favorite time of the year, potentially, you know, with Valentine's Day. Um, the heart chakra is really opening right now for a lot of you. Um, for some of you, you might be coming out of a bit of a miserly position when it comes to Valentine's Day. That would be kind of nice. Is someone thawing the freeze here for you or are you thawing it out yourself like are you finally coming to a point where you're just like i'm tired of being closed off to love i want love in my life so i'm going to unfreeze my heart perfect and this kind of would be a great time to do it wouldn't it <laughs> all right cancer one more shuffle for you and then we'll get started All right, Cancer. Overall energy. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. My, my, my. All right, so starting something new. I'm hearing planning a business deal for some of you. You could be, for some of you, you could be planning to make uh, an investment, to make an offer in a business. Um, you may be planning on hiring somebody. You may be planning on putting a resume in. Um, Something is working its way on getting off the ground. Now, this either could be business or it could be a, a commitment in a relationship, like making a, a an official commitment, maybe making the relationship official. Um, but the first thing I did here with this card was making some sort of business offer. You have the Eight of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. My, my, my. This is some pretty troubling energy, Cancer. Um oh for some of you you're blocking some sort of offering coming in you're blocking some sort of um investment opportunity you're blocking an offer of love or a commitment now it doesn't have to be love i mean this is the ace of pentacles if this it does involve love it's more of a commitment in love like like making it solid or making it official like i said but there is definite blockage here and you yourself are creating the blockage either you cancer or the other person because because cancer you might be the person that wants to make the offering wants to offer something to someone but they're blindfolding themselves i mean look the two of swords and the eight of swords blindfolded refusing to come out of some sort of entrapment refusing to make a decision refusing to see the see things clearly, see things truthfully, maybe even see things, see eye to eye is what I just heard for some of you. Because someone here, either you cancer or the other person is holding on to something from the past, holding on to something that they need to let go of. Now, knowing Cancerian energy, because I tend to have my Cancerian moments, my moon is in Cancer in the Eastern astrology, the person holding on to something that needs to be letting go of, refusing to see something clearly, refusing to, to cut themselves out of some sort of prison, refusing to accept something, most likely the Cancerian. I mean, not going to lie. But it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. So let's get into the first... Um, the, the, the first row here, the first row is the energies moving into the current energies moving into February. The second row is going to be the upcoming energies in the month of February. Okay. First set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, in your month of February, you have the queen of pentacles. Now this is Capricorn energy. This is the Capricorn archetype. Capricorn is your opposite sign. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your chart. You could be dealing with another earth sign, Taurus or Virgo. You could have either of those in your chart. Um, someone here is very much embodying a motherly uh, queen of pentacles energy. This is very abundant, financially, uh, financially abundant, um, uh, fertile, fertile, fertilely abundant, I guess you could say. Very, very much a mother figure, uh, the wife archetype, like the traditional wife archetype. Um, someone is really embodying a nurturing and caring energy. Now, this might be you, Cancer, or it could be this other person that potentially wants to make an offer to you. Now, 
even independent of someone trying to make an offer to you, this could be your energy. This could just be the vibration that you're holding. And now, for some of you, potentially because of that, um, someone might want to make you an offer but doesn't think they can doesn't feel like they are worthy of you accepting their offer, doesn't even think you're, they're worthy of approaching you, you might feel this way. Queen of Pentacles is coupled with, ooh, wow, the Five of Swords. So there's conflict here. Now this, there could be conflict with a, ma a maternal figure, okay? Um, maybe <clears throat> your mother, someone else's mother. Um, mm. The other thing that I'm getting with this combination of the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Swords is that there's too much drama. There has been too much destructive energy. There's been too much fighting, too much one-upmanship to allow someone to make an offering to the Queen of Pentacles. Because the Queen of Pentacles is not gonna stand for shit. Like she and the Queen of Swords, in my opinion, are very, are like, are like besties. Only the, the difference, the major difference between the two of them is that the Queen of Pentacles has more emotional investment in the situation than the Queen of Swords. So for some of you, there's way too much conflict and the Queen of Pentacles is like not having it. Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you. There you are, Cancer, the chariot. Moving forward in some way, regardless of the circumstances I'm hearing, and this would mean moving forward in your own life, doing what it is you want to do for yourself. Somebody wants to make an offer here. I don't know if it's you, Cancer, or if it's the other person, but somebody wants to make an offer. The chariot is coupled with, oh boy, the ace of cups. Look at that. Someone does want to make an offer here. But what I'm seeing, and this is mostly for the Cancerian, what I'm seeing is that you're moving forward in your life because you have this full cup of self-love. So you know you don't have to sit around and deal with this shit. That's for damn sure. Five of Swords. Now, if it's not you, Cancer, if it's the cross watcher that's, that's embodying this energy, they are moving on. Either the Cancerian is moving on or you're moving on as the cross watcher. Again, this is a general reading. Take it as it resonates. But someone is moving forward here and it's because they have a deep sense of self-love. Which is only going to make it that much harder for someone that wants to make some sort of offer to do so. Because this person that wants to make an offer knows that the other person here ain't going to take no shit. They don't deserve to take any shit. They've learned to love themselves. And so as a result, bye, Felicia. <laughs> Your challenge, Cancer, in these energies here, you have the 10 of pentacles. For some of you, there has been a lot of time and investment put into whatever situation we might be talking about here, only for it to basically go to shit. For others of you, the challenge is putting the time and investment in. So if this is for the cross watcher or this is for you, Cancer, if you want to make an offer, for this is for who, whomever was embodying this Five of Swords energy, the combativeness. Twisted masculine energy also, maybe. For whomever brought that into the situation, you've got some work to do, my friend. Ten of Pentacles, and that is, in fact, a challenge because the Ten of Pentacles is about um, investment, long-term investment, longevity, putting in the time and the effort. Pentacles is not something that's going to come and go quickly. No, Pentacles take time to develop, so this is about time. You need to take the time and put in the effort to turn things around. Ten of Pentacles is coupled with... 
judgment, resurrection, reconciliation also. <clears throat> what judgment is saying is there is always a way to rectify the situation, to heal. But both parties have to be willing to do it and to put the effort in. No relationship is a one-way street. All relationships are two-way streets, guys. So if you want the relationship to work, both parties have to take some responsibility and do the work that's necessary. All right? Now, for some people, given this Five of Swords energy, for some of you, taking responsibility is going to be a big old challenge. Or, 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 or getting the other person to take some responsibility is probably going to be a challenge, right? Meh. Your potential outcome or the uh, closing message here in your first row, you have the Five of Cups. Regret and remorse. For some of you that are wondering how this other person feels, if you're, the, if you're the one that's taking control and moving on with your life and have worked on filling this cup of love for yourself, if you're wondering how this other person is feeling, they probably, they're regretting things. Maybe the way they've acted towards you, maybe some of the things that they've said towards you, whatever. You could be regretting some things too yourself, Cancer, or whoever was not in the, was not putting forth this combative energy. But Five of Cups is coupled with Six of Pentacles. Why didn't I give when I had the chance? There is an awareness here that Whoever, whomever is here with the chariot and the ace of cups doesn't have to be the Cancerian, but it can be. Um, whoever is in this energy here, there is an awareness by, on the behalf of the other party that the reciprocity was there, but they didn't give in. They didn't give back. And so now they're dealing with the repercussions because now they're aware that you are going off with this energy to someone else. And it's not them. And they're not happy about it. Five of Cups. But you see, to be quite honest, they only have themselves to quote blame for that one. Why? Because they were not balanced. They were not giving back when they had you in their life. So for the upcoming energies, the, f yeah, the upcoming energies, for February, first set of surrounding, you've got ooh, hey, the devil. More Capricorn energy. So you have two depictions of Capricorn energy here between the Queen of Pentacles and the devil. Now, you, this could talk about Capricorn being <clears throat> your, <clears throat> excuse me, your uh, opposite sign in the Zodiac. So for some of you Cancerians, you could be really taking on a Capricorn appro approach to life right now. For others of you, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your chart. This is a general reading, guys. Take what resonates. But, cat, but the devil also represents toxic toxicity, codependency, addiction, narcissism, fear. Let me throw obligation in there too. But that's more of a Ten of Wands energy. So for some of you, it's obligation. Uh oh. Fix that. The, oh, 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 wait, hold on, guys. So, so sorry. So, so sorry. The devil. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> the devil is coupled with. Ah, the Hierophant. Dogma. The status quo. Could be talking about a Taurus here. Mm, mm, mm. For some of you, you're learning to face the devil. 
For some of you, there are some lessons coming through from your higher self surrounding devil or devil type energy. So that would be codependency, stuff like that. For others of you, you have some sort of toxic codependent relationship. Could be a marriage with the Hierophant here. And marriage, I say marriage and I don't necessarily mean like uh, a wedding, matrimony, um, a romantic relationship. It could be a commitment, a business commitment, a business marriage, or any sort of long standing relationship that is codependent in nature, but that requires you to conform. You could be facing that towards the end of February. That actually could be something that you face throughout February, but it might come to a head towards the end. Second set of surrounding energies in your upcoming energies, you have woo, the 10 of swords. I like that. I like that a lot, especially after following after the, uh, the devil and the hierophant. Okay. Cause to me, this is saying you're bringing this cycle to an end. It's coming to completion here. The worst is behind you. So you really could be completing this cycle here with this codependency. Some of you might be um, leaving toxic relationships. You might be trying to get a divorce. You might decide or the pieces might of the puzzle might be there for you to say, okay, it's time for a divorce or okay, it's time to end this relationship. Doesn't mean it's happening in this month. And I'm sorry that I'm talking about this during February with um, Valentine's Day, but it doesn't mean that it's happening, like the divorce is happening or you're asking for the divorce or you're actively breaking up with this person or whatnot. Doesn't mean you're actively ending this relationship in February. All I'm saying is as far as it looks right now, you could come to the conclusion that it's over. It's done. It's time to move forward. Okay. Ten of Swords is coupled with yeah, the Knight of Swords. Whoa, you might be trying to move forward pretty quickly. So it's interesting that I was just saying, talking about how this doesn't necessarily mean steps are being taken, but maybe it does. The Knight of Swords. Now you could be, this could be a conversation that really puts that last nail in the coffin for you. An argument that pops off randomly or maybe not so randomly or something that just needs to be said. The closing conversation, the conversation that explains why it's over. Okay. The challenge in the upcoming energies for you, Cancer, we have, ooh, the nine of cups, not drowning your sorrows. But also the challenge could be achieving some sort of wish fulfillment, going after what it is you want, clearing space so that your wish can, fulfillment can be um, achieved. And for some of you, I'm picking up that getting yourself out of this situation with the devil in the Hierophant is that wish fulfillment. So the challenge would be bringing this to a completion. Ten of Swords, Knight of Swords, okay? The Nine of Cups in your challenge is coupled with the Seven of Pentacles. I don't suggest that you make any hasty movements here. Cancerian or the cross watcher, whoever this is resonating for. I do not suggest that you make any hasty decisions here. Okay. Take the time to learn the lesson first. Take the time to reap what you have sown, to understand what you are, so what you are reaping and how you have gotten that. What did you sow in the past? How did you nurture that through the growth and development process? to lead to the harvest that you're receiving right now. Learn from that and apply that into what, you, what it is you truly desire to manifest in the future, all right? Take it easy, take it slow. Cancerians can move pretty quickly. Cancer is a cardinal sign. So is Capricorn. Hmm, okay. Sorry, I was getting lost in my own thoughts there for a second. <laughs> um, the closing message for your upcoming energies or the potential outcome you have. The High Priestess. Secrets. Downloads from the universe. Intuition. Use your intuition, Cancerian or Crosswatcher. The High Priestess is coupled with... Woo-wee! The Hermit. 
Virgo energy. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Now, for some of you, there is someone out here in your life, potentially a Virgo, or it doesn't really matter uh, the sign, but someone in your life is going through some deep soul searching. It could be you, but you're not telling people about it. They're not telling you about it, or you don't necessarily know about it. But someone is getting some downloads from the universe that are really giving them some deep insight to themselves. And this all could be influenced by you, Cancer, or somebody else, or like someone walking away and removing themselves from a situation due to this Five of Swords energy. Taking their love, their compassion, their nurturance, and whatnot, and moving on. Hitting the road. It also could be from this Five of Cups energy, this regret, remorse, shame, guilt, whatever, that is causing someone to gain some real deep insights into themselves, okay? All right, so let's get into your Oracle Guidance for the month of February, Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February. Thank you so much, Spirit. Let's see what we've got for you, Cancer. Whoa, damn, passion, I think that is. Yep. Well, shit, that came flying out. Underneath the deck, you have support. Ask for help. Get more rest. Nurture yourself. Okay, that's good. Cancerians, sometimes we do have a, a tendency to not ask for help. But that's the cardinal nature to Cancer, I would say. And then finally, we have passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. And I would say you could increase your energy levels by getting a little more rest. Yeah, self-care, Cancer, self-care. All right, Cancer, so there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, uh, yeah, if you'd like a look into your personal situation, go ahead and, and email me. Yeah, and I'll get you a, we'll get you set up for a personal reading. Anyway, much love to you guys, and I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.